Okay, I think we're back up. Uh, really sorry about that. I don't know what happened. My uh, my recording device just kind of shut off on me. So for those of you that are coming back or maybe just joining, we'll get right back into it. So we just did some jumping jacks and some balance. We're going to move on in the workout. So what we're going to do is we're going to do 10 squat jumps. Okay, and then we're going to go back into our balance. All right. Should be back up. I think everybody's kind of coming back in. Okay, so we're going to do... We're going to do 10 squat jumps, and then we're going to get back into our balance, and we're going to add a little something to it this time. So a squat jump, we get nice and low, okay, and then I jump as high as I can. We're going to do that 10 times. So that's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10, okay? And then just like before, we're going to stand on our left foot for 30 seconds. All right, now what I want us doing is we balance... So I just want us turning a little bit, all right, just to make it a little bit tougher. If you need to just stay stationary, that's fine, all right? If you want a little bit more of a challenge, we're going to turn our bodies and we're going to come back. Okay, not real far or hard, just turn it a little bit, a little bit of rotating. Okay, we have about 10 more seconds. Kind of moving, we're working our balance. All right, and you can rest. Okay, so we're going to rest about 10 seconds. 10 more squat jumps, and we're going to do that same thing on our right leg. <clears throat> All right. Then we're going to do 10. Okay, we're going to do 10 more jumps. So we jump. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10. Okay, now right away, we're on our right leg, working on our balance again. All right? So we're do this for 30 seconds. <clears throat> now again, if you need to make it a little bit harder for yourself, you can slowly turn back and forth. Our knee is a little bent. We're not standing straight up on it. All of our weights right in that foot. You might hear my dogs bark upstairs. And rest. Okay, so we're going to do 10 more jumps. And then we're going to move into one other activity. So I'm going to grab a mark. Okay, so we're going to do 10 more jumps here. So, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sorry if you can hear my dog upstairs. Okay, so we're gonna do instead of balancing on one foot, okay, <clears throat> we're gonna be doing uh, some weight transfer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spread my feet out pretty wide. All right, I'm gonna get down on this leg, and all I'm gonna do is move across. I move across. Okay, so you're doing this with me. So we're nice and low, everything's up, and we move across. And move across. And move. Again. Go back and forth. Okay, we're still nice and low. I don't want us just standing up here. And across. Across. Good. Now we're going to finish with just five jumps. So you do five jumps as high as we can, but we're going to hold our squat at the bottom. So I'm going to get down into a squat, and then jump. And then back down, hold it for a second. And jump. And then back down, hold it for a second. And jump. There we go, two more. Jump. Jump. Good. <clears throat> okay, we're going to go back up to the start. We're going to do every exercise again just for a shorter time. Okay, so I'm going to give us about a 20 second break. And then we're going to get right back into our jumping jacks.
Now, if you need a break at any time, feel free to take a break, okay? If you're having trouble keeping up, just take a second. You can sit down if you need to. And then we get back up, we'll keep moving. All right, so now we're gonna do jumping jacks again. We're gonna go 20 seconds of jumping jacks, and then 20 seconds of balance, all right? And we're jumping. Ten more seconds. Keep moving. Good, and bounce. So either foot, we're just gonna sit here, we're just gonna work on our bounce. My knees bent a little bit, everything else is a bit tight. And take a break. I don't know about any of you guys, I'm sweating. Got a decent sweat worked up right now. Okay, we're gonna go about five more seconds of rest. We're back into our jumping jacks. And let's go. Just keep moving, it doesn't have to be fast. Just always moving. 10 more seconds. Still moving, doing good. Three, two, one. Now we're on our left foot, working on our balance. Okay, all we're doing is standing here like this. Again, if you need to make it a little bit harder, we can slowly kind of rotate back and forth, staying in control. We have about 10 more seconds of this. take about 30 second break and then we're going to get into back into our squat jumps. <clears throat> and after we do our squat jumps, we're going to go into our stick handling. Okay, we have about five minute stick handling circuit and then a little game at the end. Alright, so about 10 seconds. We'll get into our squat jumps. We're just going to do five squat jumps this time. Okay, we're going to do five jumps. Then we're gonna stand on each leg for 20 seconds. Okay, so five continuous squat jumps. We're gonna go down and jump for one, two, three, four, and five. And then right away we're standing on one foot. Okay, again, just working on our balance. We're gonna do this for about 20 seconds. Right on this foot, try not to wiggle too much, keeping everything in tight under me. My upper body's in tight. About five more seconds. And three, two, one. Take a little break. Now remember, if you need a rest, you need to take a break, that's fine. Okay? We'll keep going. You can join in back when you're uh, when you're caught up. Caught up on your rest. Okay, so we got five more jumps, and then we're on our other foot balancing. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, and then we're on our right foot. Okay, just holding it. We're gonna do this for about 20 seconds. Just make sure we're keeping our head up. I don't want us looking down like this. Okay, everything stays upright, mid tight. You guys can see my head and my chest. I'm looking at the camera. About five more seconds. And good, take a break. Okay, now if you need to, I'll give you a minute or two. Grab a drink of water, take a little break. And then we're gonna come back with our sticks. And whenever you guys use the stick handle with, I'm gonna use a wooden ball, one of the Swedish stick handling balls. All right, we're gonna do just a, about a five minute stick handling circuit. And then a little bit of a game. While we're taking a little rest, just because I like trying to show off, 
I'm just going to do a little bit of juggling. And again, I'll teach you guys sometime how to do this. We'll, we'll do some hand-eye coordination as we move forward with these. This is one of my talents oh, that I'm kind of good at and pretty proud of. It's also great for hand-eye. That's why we like doing it. All right, so I'll give it about 20 more seconds. Make sure we're all ready to go. All right. So we're going to do each one of these for about 30 seconds again. All right? And there's going to be different, uh, different variations of what we're doing. So the first thing is I'm going to have the stick and the ball out in front of me. All right? My feet are going to be a little bit wider than my hips. Okay, I'm in a good athletic stance. My knees are a little bent. I've got the ball in front of me. Okay, and what we're going to be doing is I'm just taking the ball, it's just continuous back and forth from toe to toe. All right, so it's in pretty tight. I'm just here. I'm trying to look up. So stay in that good athletic stance. Okay, just toe to toe. Still doing the same thing, it's toe to toe, all right, but in the middle, we're doing a quick stick. So when I go out here, out wide to my toe, and I come back through the middle, it's a quick stick back and forth, and then to my other toe, all right? And again, I only want us going about this far out. I don't want us to go way out here. Okay, I want everything in tight. So I bring it back in. So now remember, in the middle, it's here, there. Sideways. So the first one, again, we're staying in pretty tight. I'm only going about three feet. I don't want us pulling it way back here and then all the way up here. Okay. First one, just back and forth, real simple. All right. Start off a little slower. Just here. So I want everything facing up ice. We're trying to look up, up ice. I want everything facing forward. Okay. We're just going back and forth here. Trying to look up, trying not to move the ball too much. If you glance down at it, that's fine. Okay, and take a break. 
Good. All right. Take a short little break. Now we're going to do that same exact thing. We're going to face the other way. So this, the, our stick and the ball is on our backhand side. So we're turning our upper body. All right. My feet, I still want up ice. Okay, I'm in that good athletic stance. Now I'm just stick handling back here. Okay. So again, we're using this three feet or so. I don't want us way up here and way back here. Okay. Feet are parallel with whatever we're using. Now we're just going back and forth, trying to work up ice. Okay, about 15 more seconds. stick on, the, on our backhand side, okay, and then a fun little game that we're going to end it with, okay, a little challenge for you guys that I want to, I want to post to you, okay, so again, sticks on our backhand side, we're rotating our upper body, we're still trying to look forward, up ice, now it's a quick stick in the middle, so go back, bring it up, quick stick in the middle, okay, we're still, we're still trying to look up ice, for you, but I'm going to try to stick out all the letters of my name, okay? I'm going to do it as fast as I can. So my full name, my full first name is Rex. A lot of people know that. A lot of people think there's more to it than that, but I actually have two middle names. So my full name is Rex Patrick Nathan Whalen, all right? And I'm going to stick handle that with a ball, okay? So I'm going to start with an R, okay? And then I go into an E. <laughs> and that's my first name. So we're going to do that as fast as we can. All right? So whatever your guys' names are, you're going to spell that with a ball. All right? Now, my second, or my, my first middle name is Patrick. So I'm going to make a P. And I go into an A. And a T. stick handling, how we're moving our upper body, how my hands are out in front of me when I'm stick handling. I'm not glued to my hip here, just trying to move this bottom hand. Okay, I'm using my whole thing. You're using both arms, my whole stick. Okay? Now, my challenge to you, I want to see how fast you guys can spell your own names. So if you want to, we post a video, we post some high scores. 